Welcome back, everybody. This video is going to cover my J series props from C130, which were six bladed props. I designed them and they ended up being carbon fiber. So let's dive into this. So I took three APC uh, 12 pitch props and messed around a little bit to get 14 pitch out of them and uh, basically glued them to the hub here. It's micro balloons and epoxy that made up the putty that I needed to make this look somewhat, uh, you know, symmetrically correct in the middle. And when I was done with painting, polishing, and getting it all to look good, this is the way my plug worked. So this is to go in a mold. So the plug, I was extremely excited with. It wasn't perfect, but, you know, for trying to do this myself, it, it turned out kick-ass. So basically, I built a uh, way to hold the clay that's going to make the part B of my mold. So here's some mold release on it. And then I used basically micro balloons to create my gel and then put on an epoxy side. And then the other side had automotive bondo. So I had a bondo side and an epoxy side for when I would lay up the prop. Then I took the carbon fiber and cut out all of the patterns. So basically you can see it goes tip to tip so that there's centrifugal forces pulling on itself on the carbon fiber. There's no hub to come apart. So this is the way carbon fiber props are designed. That way they don't come apart. It's going all the way across the weave. Now, in this video, it's going to be extremely sped up. I'm putting on the mold release right now, but you're going to notice I don't have gloves on. That's a no-no. I ran out of gloves this day. You should always have gloves on working with epoxy. It is insane not to use gloves, so you should use gloves. But basically, you lay up one side, then you lay up the, the other side, which is the front and the back side of the propeller. And then you're going to take a syringe and fill it basically with a epoxy micro balloon. Um, solution to be really thick you want it to be almost putty thick but you're going to put it on and create a perimeter and then you're going to put the front on the back half i used uh 832s to hold my molds together you want to let it cure about 24 hours before you pop it apart and um basically the prop ends up being completely kick-ass when you're done i mean it was just awesome so you basically when you it is hard to get out of the mold you got to take your time and really work it to get out of the mold but once it's out of the mold, you end up with a propeller that's got some really sharp edges on it, okay? So you got to be really, really careful, and, um, but just work it and get it out. So when it comes out, it looks like this, okay? And those are really sharp edges. But once you start to trim it down and clean it up, you get a carbon fiber prop that looks like this. And then once you really clean it up, it looks like this, which is kick-ass. So you, I, that's it on the motor, and that was an early carbon fiber spinner I designed. I'll do a video on that later. This is some of the first testing just to see what my thrust was. And believe it or not, I got over 10 pounds of thrust. So four of these would be 40 pounds of thrust on a 54-pound airplane, which was kick-ass. It was perfect for me. Now, you'll notice the prop tips didn't track perfect. And I figured out down the road, because I built 12 of these props total for testing and then four flight props. But basically, if I take this out of the mold after eight hours, and then I would use aluminum, aluminum shims to hold them exactly right as it cured the rest of the way, I got the prop tips to track perfect. So that was just something I had to learn through the process of experimentation. And um, I was just absolutely tickled to death how well this worked. Now, another test, I threw a beach towel into the prop, destroying it. And then another test, I swung a one inch by one inch aluminum bar that was 36 inches long into the prop to see how it self-destructed. I had a lot of haters get mad at me saying, why would you destroy propellers that are absolutely pieces of art but look everybody i needed to know how strong these were i don't want one ever coming apart and firing a blade across the you know rc airfield uh you don't need ginsu knives flying all over the place but uh in all my testing i never had any cracking of the epoxy i never had any visual i had 20 hours of testing on these props i mean in one prop i had 20 hours i had, i had 12 or 14 test props and four flight props i think i had 12 test props and then I went into testing it with my 3D printed spinner that looked kind of like the J model spinner. And uh, all my spinners I've tested up to 7,000 RPM and none of them have come apart that are 3D printed. I know there's a lot of people that say you can't do it. I've been doing it successfully, but you really need to know what you're doing when you do a 3D printed spinner. Uh, and I'll do a video on that in the future too. But overall, I was ecstatic with the way that the six bladed prop itself turned out. I mean, it was just absolutely awesome. So here's another thing the haters come out about was 
props being hollow. I had three or four people that said they were experts and no props were hollow. Well, when you cut up a, cut up a Bela prop like I have and you cut up um, some other carbon fiber props, they are hollow inside people. And um, I don't make this stuff up. I do research. Now I bought two Bela props, 80 bucks a piece, cut them up, and they were hollow inside. When it comes to balancing it, it wasn't that hard. You drill little bitty eighth-inch holes in the back of the blades that are opposite the heavy blade. Then you take your syringe with micro balloons and resin. You squirt a little bit in there until you get it perfectly balanced. And then to get it absolutely perfectly balanced, I used clear lacquer spraying on the back of the blades. And I was able to get them absolutely perfect. And um, I still have a bunch of these blades laying around that I stick on airplanes just for, you know, shits and grins. I mean, they're, it's a lot of fun. So when it was done, this is pretty much what it looked like. Now, I will do a video on spinners one day because that's the carbon fiber spinner I designed. But I actually like my 3D printed ones because I can get them to look more scale. It's easier. And this is what the two look like hanging on the wing. And I hope you appreciate my videos and like them. And I will see you next time. Rock on, everybody, and be safe. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.